Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Microengineering. My name is Michael Rona, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to compute roll and pitch angles from an accelerometer sensor, like this guy right here. Um, I'm going to be approaching this derivation process from a flight dynamics and controls perspective, but just note our final result can be used in many different projects, many different applications. So in this video I'm going to be covering the derivation of these lovely math equations and then also um, demonstrating them working on board an Arduino with an actual accelerometer. So yeah, these are the final math equations that we're going to be working towards. Um, you can feel free to pause the video and um, write these down for your project or homework or whatever, but hopefully you clicked on this video to learn a thing or two. So let's get into how these equations are actually derived. So we are going to be computing roll and pitch angles with respect to the northeast down frame. And this northeast down frame is a very common coordinate frame used in flight dynamics and controls. And it's very convenient because the down axis or the z axis is in the same direction as gravity. And our orientation is going to be described by the roll, pitch, and yaw Euler angles. Roll is denoted by phi, pitch is denoted by theta, yaw is denoted by psi. Now, we cannot use an accelerometer to measure yaw angle. You know, gravity is the same no matter which direction we're pointed, so therefore we cannot use an accelerometer to measure yaw angle. We can only use an accelerometer to measure roll and pitch. Also, our accelerometer, our accelerometer's coordinate frame is going to look something like this, with its z-axis in the opposite direction of gravity. That's the case with my accelerometer right here. But just know that even though our accelerometer's coordinate frame is like this, the equations that I'm going to show you still compute roll and pitch with respect to the northeast down frame. So also in flight dynamics and controls, we use what are called rotation matrices or direction cosine matrices to describe the orientation of one coordinate frame with respect to another coordinate frame. And we are going to be using a rotation matrix to describe the orientation of our accelerometer with respect to the northeast down frame. And that rotation matrix is going to be defined by our roll, pitch, and yaw angles. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Um, this is, so yeah, this is the rotation matrix that describes our um, accelerometer's orientation with respect to the level northeast down frame. Now, in, our, in the coordinate frame, in the level coordinate frame, gravity is going to be negative g. And this is what our, and these are the um, accelerometer measurements right here, ax, ay, and az. And so yeah, this is that um, rotation matrix that is defined by our roll, pitch, and yaw angles. Now, I mentioned earlier, we cannot use um, an accelerometer to measure yaw. So therefore, we're going to set our yaw angle equal to zero, and when we do that to this rotation matrix, we're going to get a result that looks like this right here. Uh, you can do the math yourself, but uh, or, you know, or you can trust my math. Um, and I'll let you decide which one to trust more. <laughs> um, anyways, this is the simplified expression when we plug in um, zero for our yaw angle. And if we carry out this um, matrix vector multiplication, we'll um, come up with this, an expression for ax, ay, and az. And that's what that guy looks like right there. Again, you can do the math yourself uh, just to double check me, you know, or you can trust my math. And yeah, so we have three equations, two unknowns. Should be no problem solving for our roll and pitch angle. So very obviously, we can use the first equation here to solve for our pitch angle. You know, just rearrange it and get that guy. So there, there, there. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom. Our pitch angle is going to be equal to the arc sine of AX over G, where AX is our X accelerometer measurement and G is good old 9.81 meters per second squared. So yeah, this is the actual, this is the expression for our pitch angle. Now a little bit more complicating, we can use the second and third equation here to solve for our roll angle. And that's how you do that right here. So we do AY over AZ is going to be equal to this, you know, this expression. We can cancel out the cosine theta terms in the g's, so we're just left with sine phi over cosine phi. And you know, sine over cosine is just tangent. Pretty easy. A, so ay over az is equal to tangent phi. 
you know, bada bing, bada boom, we can solve for our um, roll angle. So our roll angle is going to be equal to the arc tangent of AY over AZ, where AY is our Y accelerometer measurement, and AZ is our Z accelerometer measurement. Yeah, so this is the analytically correct solution right here, but when you go to implement this onboard uh, microcontroller, you know, I would highly recommend using the two argument arc tangent function. Just because um, this is going to prevent, using this will prevent any mathematical singularities from happening. Um, yeah, so this is the analytically correct solution. This is the, this is the one I would recommend using on board um, or in your application. So yeah, um, again, these are the math equations that we're going to use to compute roll and pitch angles from our accelerometer measurements. Cool, cool. Now let's actually show this working on an Arduino. So, we got our Arduino dude right here. And so yeah, I put a little um, little uh, illustration right here of the northeast downframe. Because remember, we just derived the expressions for roll and pitch in the northeast with respect to the northeast downframe. And so, a positive roll angle should be a roll to the right. So this should be a positive roll angle. And in the northeast downframe, pitching up is a positive pitch angle. So let's actually show this running on board um, an Arduino with the Arduino code. Um, there. Let's make sure this is working. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is the Arduino code that's running on board our Arduino right here. So we got our so we um, extract our accelerometer measurements, and we use our pitch equation to compute our pitch angle, and then we use this equation, you know, the one we just derived, to compute our roll angle. And just remember, this two argument arc tangent function is the same thing as this right here. And then we're just going to simply print them to the serial console. That easy. So let's go ahead and upload our code. Wait for it to run. All right, bring up the serial monitor. Yeah, so again, this should be a positive pitch, which as you can see, it is. And then this should be a positive roll. Awesome, looks like it works great. Again, positive pitch, positive roll. So yeah, that's it. We just figured out how to compute roll and pitch angles with an accelerometer sensor. Now, before I conclude this video, I need to point out one very important aspect of this method I just outlined. Um, this, uh, so all of the math equations I just showed you assumes the sensor is completely stationary, not moving. And as you can see, when I start accelerating the sensor, moving it around, our roll and pitch angles are going all over the place. And that's because, um, that's because this, the math equations we just derived assume the sensor is stationary. And when the sensor moves around, our roll and pitch calculations fall apart and are completely inaccurate. Um, there are ways to subtract out the um, linear accelerations, but they're kind of complex and beyond the scope of this video. I just wanted to show you guys a simple um, method for computing roll and pitch angles with an accelerometer sensor. Um, hopefully you found this useful. Drop a like down below. Um, comment down below as well if you have any questions about this. I'll try my best to answer your guys' questions. Um, until the next video, see you later.